Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. In today's discussion, we will look at seat matrix, eligibility criteria and the entire counselling process of Assam. You can visit this website for the information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Assam. As you can see, there are 13 colleges with 1550 seats in them. You can take a look at the map and have a better understanding how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the list of MBBS colleges. Please remember that AIMS Guwahati offers admission only through All India Quota. State quota is available in the other colleges. In addition to that, please note the names, locations and the number of seats in these colleges. Now here you have the BDS seat matrix. As you can see, there are three colleges with 176 seats in them. Please take a look at the map to get an idea how these colleges are distributed in this state. Here you have the list of BDS colleges. Again, please note the names, the locations and the number of seats. Now, let's get an idea of the 2023 MBBS cutoff of the government colleges. This was General, EWS, OBC, SC, this is ST. Now, if we look at the different quota categories of Assam, there are basically two. One is state quota, which is 85%, another is all India quota, which is 15%. Now, what about the different steps of the counselling process? It starts with online registration. The link to the website has been given. Next step is declaration of merit list. Next is online choice filling, then allotment of seats, and in the end, you report at the allotted college. Now, what about the eligibility criteria? For the 85% state quota, you should have the domicile certificate of Assam. Let's look at the documents you need for the counselling. You need academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates, need UG admit card and mark sheet, domicile certificate if applicable, caste certificate if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proof, minority certificate if applicable. You may need to submit more documents according to the eligibility criteria. Now, you may ask, is there any scholarship in Assam? Yes, there is scholarship. It is given under post matric scholarship scheme. To whom? To SC, ST, OBC, ACBC, EBC and PWD candidates. What are the requirements? The total family annual income is to be less than or equal to 2 lakh rupees. And scholarship will be awarded to the students who have secured at least 50% marks or equivalent grade in the previous final examination. You can visit this website for more information on the same. What about service bond? Yes, there is service bond in Assam in the government institutions. After completing the medical course, you will serve the government for 5 years or you will pay 30 lakh rupees as penalty. So, we have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counselling process of Assam. Thank you for watching.